Are you tired of some kids hacking your server? Yep, that was the official Minecraft Mob Life Vote test server. So let's try to fix what Mojang couldn't fix. But please note that an anti cheat won't stop hackers from hacking on your server. There will always be new methods and bypasses for certain things. So don't expect an anti cheat to completely eliminate all hackers, because that's not the purpose of an anti cheat. We rather just want to make it harder for them. And in today's episode, we're gonna be creating a system that will automatically clear malicious items from the player's inventory and send a message whenever the player has a malicious item inside their inventory. Now let's actually start coding. The first thing that we wanna do is make something happen every tick. For that we're gonna be using the system.runschedule method and we also have to import a system for that. Good, and now we have to get every player because we wanna clear the item for every player and not just for one. So we're gonna be using the world.getPlayers method from the worlds class, which we also have to import to loop through every player and get their inventory component, just like this. Now, we already know that this is an inventory component, but our editor doesn't. So, let's help him a bit out by adding this line of code that will basically tell that the container is a player inventory component container, which will give us the type definitions, which we also have to import, of course. This line of code actually does nothing since it is a comment. It just helps us and the editor out to get the right type definitions. Since we have the container, we can now start getting the item with a for loop. We will use the container size and the index i to loop through every container slot so we have an index for the get item function where we can just pass in our index. We are now basically checking for every item inside the player's inventory. Now let's actually make a list of the items that should be removed from the player's inventory. I'm gonna be using an array with the IDs of the items that we wanna have removed. In this case, an apple and a shulker. Now we need to check if the item is actually in that list and do something after that. Now. What this line of code does, it basically checks if the item even exists and then it checks if the banned items list includes the item type ID. And if either of them is not the case, we'll just continue. That means that we just continue the loop and skip every code what is beneath it. And now we actually have to kinda get creative because an air is not an item that we can replace with the current item. So we're gonna be using this, which is an item stack with a stick where we set the amount to zero because, well, an item with the amount of zero is air. And then we're gonna import our last two imports, being items and item stack. And now we can actually finish off the script by replacing the current index with the air item that we just created. Now this alone would work, but it's kinda boring, so let's add a message which will basically say that an illegal item was found and it was being cleared. And that's actually it. Now let's try and see how it works in game. Now let's create a world where we turn on every experiment and apply the pack that we've just created. Now whenever we pick up an illegal item, we will get a message that the item was successfully cleared from our inventory. And that's actually it with this video. Leave a like and subscribe and tell me on what kind of system I should do next. Bye!